James? It's Craig. Well, it's Jack now. Jack Pulaski. I did it. New name, passport, everything. Greg Schultz is off the books. I should have done this ages ago. Feels like I can breathe easy again. So, I called to implore you to do the same. We're all that's left, James. I don't know who's after us, but we have to protect ourselves. We're stronger together. I guess you're tied up at the moment, and I have to get to work. So, call me whenever's good for you. I'll walk you through the process for old time's sake. For your life, James. So, James was his name. Thank you, Mr. McCain. It was a mutual score to settle, Jaeger. But Red Sin still has one more to wrap up. The West will give you half of the yearly budget for this. When you expand your numbers, look us up. We'll do business together. Goodbye, Jaeger. Small favor. The virus. I want to use it on some people before you sell it. Our partnership ended 20 seconds ago. Then take a step if you dare. Hacker risked our entire operation just to get you those picks, Jaeger. I deserve this. Enlighten me. 30 years ago, the deal with the Iraqi army that your father and his men ruined. Those money were meant for my family. Instead, my father returned home with a bullet in his pipe. So our debt went to pay. One day royalty in the next is Bay. The next week, the Russian who threw us out of our home in Ukraine returns home for holidays. I want to give him the taste of his own medicine. Sorry. What else? You gave me my closure. Now, you gave me my future. Schedule here. Extract the bullets, but leave the body. Keep the authorities guessing. Change of plans. When you're finished here, meet up with Owen. Lay down cover and fire. Greg Schultz dies tonight. You knew him well? I knew them all well, Leon. Hey, don't beat yourself up, right? Think of this new life as uh, as an opportunity. But how are you going to enjoy it if you keep living the way you do? Like like some kind of caged animal or something. You, you're so withdrawn, you don't even ask your customers how they're doing. That's why they don't come back. No, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry, rewind. Forget the customers. Look, Greg, I mean, I mean, Jack, Jack. What I'm trying to say is to enjoy this new life, you got to enjoy the simple things in life. You know what I'm saying? All right, Leon. Yeah. Good, good. All right, I got to get to the clinic because it's the stomach again. I'll hold the fort again. Thank you. Again. That wasn't part of our marketing campaign. Can I still get a rub for up here? Obviously, I'm not here for a trim. Sure thing. Rough week? You could say that. How much for this? 20. For how long? 20 hours. This is good. You should put a slogan on the door for this. Yeah, like what? Yeah. 20 rubs for 20 big ones. <laughs> How about uh, just uh, 20 for 20? That'll do. The name is Patrick, in case you want to call me something. I'm Jack. Thanks for this, Jack. I uh, learned all about you from a friend. A friend? About your shop. Ah. Huh. Let me tell you, I could have done with you sooner. I'm in finance. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idealist, ain't you? That's uh, why you put up with it. People are slaves to money. Nobody should have to worry about making ends meet. Tweak the deals you make in life. You'll be dealt a better hand. You know what's a good deal for you? What's that? 20 for 20. Maybe my boss should uh, shoot one of those commercials real cheap. Air it on the Mets game. Nobody watches the Mets. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter to me. My opening line will suck anybody in. Oh, yeah? Mets lead by two in the six. We'll be right back. And then I come on and say, hey, got a headache? Let me give you a rub on the noggin. Why? Well, a little birdie told me I'm pretty darn good with my hands. <laughs> You're a smart man because when the Mets blow the lead, you'll have a thousand customers in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this one time my buddy Vic and I were watching the Giants along with my little girl. You have a little girl? Six years old. First game in her life. Giants were up 7 0, and this commercial comes on. Are you a man over 40 years of age? You probably have erectile dysfunction. And with that, she gets up and runs into the kitchen. Mommy, mommy, daddy's got erectile dysfunction, mommy. Don't remind me. <laughs> <sighs> no shit. So, Mandy's the one who referred you to me? Yep. She said, ask for the mutes with the magic hands. And she's your wife? The only woman in the world I know that can rock a buzz cut at her age, I'm telling you. Well, this was fun. I guess uh, we're gonna learn all about one another now, huh? Well, I would second that if there was more to me to start out with. And, um, what if I already know all about you, Greg? My name is Jack. Jack Palette. Greg Schultz. My name is Patrick Burns. 
I'm the Chief Finance Resource Director at the Office of National Intelligence, headquartered at Langley, Virginia. CIA. How did you find me? What did you expect? A new name, a new life? You should have gotten surgery and learnt an accent. You killed James. No. But you're gonna help us find his killer because you already know who he is. Know him? Nathan McCain. No, no. Nathan's dead. Lung cancer. Sulfur from the mines. He was buried in Jersey. Right before your eyes? He fooled you, Greg. He fooled everyone. He never shows himself, but radio chatter does not lie. Oh, it's McCain. And he's working from the shadows. James. Dealing with ghosts here, Greg. They're clean and damn hard to track. And McCain's organization has a thousand trained killers just like him. And they're on to you. Organization? Red Sin. Your friend James and the others he executed had one thing in common the heist, the Gulf War, and that Iraqi cave network that they discovered. Every one of them helped McCain set it up, and you were his right-hand man. The jig is up. Saddam Hussein wanted us out of the country, and the Ukrainians wanted customers for their guns. So Saddam was going to pay millions of dollars to the Ukrainians for the best firepower on the black market, enough to win the war in a month. And you guys were going to steal all that money for yourselves. What would you do if your kids were on food stamps? We were just trying to- Trying to what? Make ends meet? And then what happened? What happened? The CIA blew our cover and the Iraqis slaughtered us. That's what happened. We saved your asses. You guys were doomed from the very start. It was an ambush. It was a setup. You knew about it. You interfered and we paid the price. We just wanted to bring home tuition for our kids, pay for our parents' medical bills, and replace the goddamn limbs we lost in the fighting. We were not selfish. We were just 15 men who wanted a future. And only five of us got one. And who dealt that hand? The Grim Reaper, roaming the streets. No wonder you needed my magic hands. What I need from you is your brains. Red Sin is going to be a threat unlike anything we've ever seen before. And you know McCain better than anybody. You can help us bring him in. We'll protect you, and you'll get paid. And you can end this miserable existence that you scraped up ever since the day you came back from the desert. That future you wanted, now's your chance. Surely anything is better than this. You need to work on your slogan. Jensen, Greg's shop closes in an hour. Just bring him here before Nate gets to him, nothing else. I can't. Why not? The only people that can lead us to Nate are his thugs. I have to draw them out and find out what they know. Don't do anything reckless and get yourself killed. Hey, don't worry. I'm going to save Greg, and he'll help us find Nate, and then we can make this family whole again.
Paying your respects? Yeah. This was not the first attempt on your life. It was just the first time I actually had to take one, so. Listen, kid. I really appreciate what you did, but uh, what is your stake in this whole mess? Who, who are you? My name's Jensen. Jensen M McCain. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm gonna explain everything. Just not here. Not now. The cops are gonna be all over the place. I am not second. leaving here until you tell me every goddamn thing that's going on right now. Greg! I helped your father. What's he trying to kill me for? My father? My, my, my father's not trying to kill you? Oh, wait, wait a minute. He had two children, two sons. If it's not your father, then... It's my brother. Makes me feel better. He fooled me too. That heist that you helped my father with, it disgraced him for life. And everybody that lost somebody on that mission harassed my family every day until the day he died. So Nate and I, we joined the Marines to try and bring some honor back to my family to stop this harassment. But Nate, he betrayed me. He, he left me for dead and went recruiting this group that he made. Red Sin. Yeah. And we can beat him, but we need Patrick. No, no way in hell. He's hell. got the resources, no. Greg. CIA started this shit, they used me once, and now they're trying to do the same thing to get your brother. They don't give a fuck about us. Nothing's changed. The times have changed, Greg. The problems with people don't change with the times. And you know what? If you're gonna pay some respect to James, why don't you pay some respect to his old friend, Greg, Mr. Jack Pulaski? Your father raised you right, kid. I should have been at his funeral. Get down!
James Nissenbaum, Aaron Mitchell, Maurice Campbell, Carlos Lopez, and now Greg Schultz. And your son would have been next if we hadn't intervened. But you couldn't save Greg? It was my fault. Nate's been two steps ahead the whole time. We underestimated him. As well as our government. But that's about to change. Why is that? Your son, Nathan, just obtained the Serif 84. A virus engineered by the Soviets in the 80s so as to cause an outbreak in the States in case they were backed in a corner. The Serif has no vaccine, no cure, no limits. Once it's inside your body, it attacks the spinal cord the same way HIV attacks the immune system. And it can kill its host in as little as 48 hours. And unfortunately, we have no leads. Our scouts just lost Greg's killer in the firefight just now. And the other one's in a body bag, thanks to Jensen. It got out of hand, you know that. It was either Greg or him. I had to make a choice. You didn't choose to keep us in the loop. Your brother sent us in a wild goose chase. And now he has a biological weapon. You should have known better. And you should have helped Jensen when he was fighting the assassin. But instead, you just stood on the sidelines like the cowards all you agents are. Mom. Leaving a blood trail is your son's M.O., Mrs. McCain, not ours. Ambushing my husband 30 years ago so you could make your bank accounts bigger? What do you call that then? Reasonable doubt. There's nothing in writing to prove that. I have his suicide note if you want to read that. Stop. Hey, please, stop. Patrick, listen, I, I want to fix this, okay? W what can we do to help? You can sit back down. Due to your interference in a classified intelligence operation, both of you are under a 24-hour surveillance watch. A full lockdown until the CIA deals with Nathan McCain. Deal. You're gonna kill him. No, Patrick, we should be working together on this. I can help in this, peacefully. Peacefully? Like this? It's not what you think. Our neighbor booby-trapped the pillbox to get to my dad, but my mom opened it. And it, he had to put the pin back in time. Could, could... We have suffered enough. Just let me talk to my brother before you do anything, please. He stopped being your brother a long time ago. He's a madman. No, he's not. He's family. He's God. Wake up. Like Greg never did. You get any sleep? I was in uh, Afghanistan when Dad left this. So you never read it? Why well, read the middle part of the story when you know how it ends? Time you read this, it's too late. I'm sorry. I see the toll my sins have taken on this family. I forced our sons to be born into dissent. And no matter where we go, no matter what we say, you continue to pay for it. So it's time. Time to set you all free. Jensen can realize his dream to serve and protect, but with honor, not the shame he carries from bearing my name. Nate can return home to us and let go of the past, my past, and hopefully, He'll forgive me. 
and you live. The people who suffer because of me will stop putting you in the crossfire. That was the final straw. I tried to do what you said, to find serenity under all this anguish. I'm sorry, but this is the only peace I can find. May you never stop sharing your enviable wisdom with our sons. You'll need it to close this chapter once and for all and move on to the next one without me. Nathan. What took you so long? Where's... You were a sniper. CIA mall. They know. They've closed in on us, Nate. Dump the virus into the water supply. Now. Don't be suicidal. Jacob has to reverse engineer it so we can control He's the spread. He's being tailed. And that's not all. Your brother killed Owen. Leave him to me. Hey, you will stand down. He's my brother. And Owen was my husband. My mentor, my only family, my everything, Nate. You can live without one fucking brother. <laughs> I'll deal with my brother on my own. Ready your rifle. You and Jacob are gonna pick off the rest of the CIA. Where I say, and when I say. Disobey me for any reason. And you end up in the mass grave with them. Jacob Lewis, who is he? Jacob Lewis just won the MacArthur Genius Grant for bioengineering before faking his death and joining Red Sin. He's on his way now to meet Greg's killer. And your brother. I've channeled resources into a precision strike team that's ready to take the Sarah back and eliminate Redson in one final assault. Don't do this again. You, you know this is a trap. You can't outsmart them. So meet him face to face. Give us a minute. two are inseparable. If Nate wanted to kill you, he couldn't do it from a distance. But he still needs convincing. He hasn't seen it since the accident. Show him this. Change his mind. What if he won't? Operation is now a live drop. Acid is en route to meet the main target. Grab team, stand by one click south of the drop site until the Serif is ready to be picked up. Mobiles one, two, and three. Confirm visuals of all targets. Gra grab team, give me a stitch up. Any sign of all units report in. Nate. I know a bridge that overlooks the spot. We can scan the area from there before making a move.
changing down to say, no, fourth win. No. Get out of here. Go. Get, get out of here. Get, go. Get out of here. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Jensen. No.
Greg wasn't this much trouble. Do you know why I call it Red Sin? 20 years ago, our last Christmas together, Mom tells the story about how you broke my new toy train set with your new toy monster truck, and that I cried so hard that you gave it to me. Do you remember? Well, I can't. Because someone threw one of these through our window. And it landed right here. 18 stitches. But the crack never healed. I'm sure that they regret that now. They do. How was Mr. Turner's funeral? Nate? Nate, okay. I know that you killed Dad's friends, okay? But that was it, right? Right? Who are you, man? What are you doing? What am I doing? What I'm doing is freeing us. I'm cutting us loose of our shackles. Dad's greed got people killed. But we paid the price. With this, the worst sin in the book. What am I doing? I'm doing this for you. For all of us. Jacob, Owen, Claire. People like us, the day we were born, were put on a cross to bleed for other people's bullshit. We have no lives. We live in the shadows. All of that ends today with this, the Seraphs, the Equalizer. After today, it's all over. It's already over. And Dad's dead. That life is gone. But you and me, you and me, bro, we're not, okay? We're family. Come home.
Patrick. Thank you. You were right about Nate. He was gone. I had to see it for myself. I gave you a list. All the places Nate was going to plant the virus. Redson waiting at each one. Please, clean up my brother's mess. Because I won't be joining you. All my life I've been fighting for peace. And now comes the hardest battle yet. Greg, my father, Nate. They lost faith in everything. And they paid the price for it. So if I lose faith, I will too. So I can't. I won't. I'll fight every day to stay on my feet. Eyes forward, not back. Because the serenity under all this anguish, it is faith. And finding peace And I will. However long it takes. And when this chapter closes, once and for all, it's on to the next one.